What's going on, friends, and welcome in to Sports Extra. I'm Julie Mitchell alongside Nick Speliopoulos. We have a great show for you tonight with action on the hardwood. Also, we've got a great story for you on St. Charles Sr. McCaden Gust. But first, we head to Mayo Civic Center Arena. Day one of the Matt Minnesota Matt Boss Christmas Tournament. We'll start with second-ranked 160 wrestler Luke Swanson out of Cass and Manorville. Starting the bout with a bang later in the round, a pin of Dominic Party makes quick work for Swanson, putting him in the next round. Mayo's ninth-ranked Ethan Pepper would go on to defeat Alex Mock with a second-round pin. Pepper winning all of his matches today by fall. Back to some comments action, continuing to show why they're the second ranked team in Class 2A, Owen Nelson, and an open round by proceeding to take his next two opponents out with a pin. See ya. Six of the 40 team field, not from Minnesota, KM's 152, Joseph Kennedy taking out Xavier McGuire of South Dakota's Brandon Valley. PEM getting in on some pins this afternoon too, Alexander Bedstead Besting at New Prague's Owen Johnson. Bedstead would lose in the next round to Minnetonka's Marco Christensen by Tech Fall. In 215, Albert Lee's Tegan Tolbers had a 6 3 lead over Park's Jesse Wright. Now, Wright managed to sneak in a takedown in the final seconds, but Tolbers would be the one walking away victorious with a 6 5 decision. Thank you, Nick. Love that tournament at final day tomorrow again at Mayo Civic Center. Let's head to some boys' hoops. Mayo hosting 12th ranked Mankato West. Spartans lost its last two games, looking for a dub here. Squad came out strong early. Isaac Peterson off the bounce, a right hand runner. What touch on that five point Spartans lead. Now it took West a second to get going, but Talay Sartell has the spark through contact, puts it in and one, three point game. A little later, Kyle Steinke, step back, the three, gets the shooter's roll on the away rims, tie ball game. Spartans to respond. Sawyer Markham, a little size up here, cross, behind the back, to the hoop. Look at this scoop with the right hand. What a move. Love his game. Mayo takes the lead again. More Mayo. Markham, this time for three. Call him Mark Him. Big bucket. Lead back up to five for Mayo as the Spartans get a big win on the home floor. A final score of 83 to 62. Spartans with a big win there to get back in the win column. Let's go to girls basketball next out of Mankato East. The Cougars girls basketball team hosted John Marshall. Rockets out there 5-0 to start this season. Slow start for both teams. This is Cougars Ellie Edberg opening up the scoring with a three-pointer. A pass up to the top here. The key in John Marshall's. Ayabol Morwall dumps it down low to Karu Othau. Finishes it off for the bucket. Mankato East coming right back. Haley Petzl gets to work in the paint. She'll hit that jumper as Mankato East led this one by seven early on here as John Marshall fall on the road in this one. A final score, 65-52. Rockets drop a hard-fought game on the road there to Mankato East. Nick. Back to boys basketball. Zimbardo Mazeppa having a good start to the year. Now a good test visiting sixth-ranked Stewartville Tigers. We pick this up in the second half. Cougs get the ball inside and then a kick out to the corner. That's a specialist badge, knockdown three from <laughs> Ethan Miller. Great ball movement from the Tigers here. And Caleb Jansen stuff is off, stuffs offenses in the fall, Ooh. stuffs it home from himself on the home floor this winter. Miller mirroring Jansen makes a backdoor cut. Jumper with the left hand is good. Now Jason Schindler with the save on defense gets it to Jansen, who gives it to Parker Wong. And we've seen him throw some touchdown passes in the fall mm -hmm. as well. A lofty outlet pass finds Tegan Malone. No dunk, but... Nonetheless, two points. Stewie defense keeping the pressure on, forces another turnover, and Wongen ahead to Malone, back to Wongen for another close range bucket. This one was all Stewartville tonight. They kind of start to knock down the Mazeppa, Zombrota Mazeppa Cougars. Final score from that one, 81 to 53. Some other scores from Boys Hoops. Lake City wins 64 to 42. Keegan Ryan had 16. Gavin Lawrenson added 13 as the Wildcats the losing team there, and Lourdes. Tough night on the road. They fall to Cannon Falls, 31 to 72. Well, all right, we're just getting started here on Sports Extra. Still ahead, 5-0 Cotter hosts Fillmore Central. Find out if the Ramblers can stay undefeated. Plus, it's a big nine battle in O-Town. The Huskies host Austin. We'll have highlights from Owatonna after this quick two-minute timeout. <laughs> 